You've made it clear that you're in favor of tariffs. Are these strong enough when there are all of these conditions that you've got the carve outs now on Mexico and Canada indefinitely while they renegotiate NAFTA and you have the possibility of other countries negotiating their own exclusions as well. Are those strong enough for you? Well, let me start by saying thank you to the president for this meaningful action to support the steel industry and the aluminum industry, two critical industries to our national defense and to our economy. Uh, to your point about the tariffs and do I feel they're strong enough, the president was very clear in saying that he's going to tie the tariffs, the implementation of the tariffs or the forgiveness of the tariffs to whether or not we get a fair trade deal from those countries. And that's really all we've ever asked for. We want a fair deal, you know, reciprocal, level playing field. And if he's able to, to achieve that goal, then the tariffs will, will no longer be needed. So we're pleased with his statements of tying the tariffs to a fair resolution to our trade negotiations. The stock is off by more than 2% and actually hasn't performed all that well over the last week, sir, since we learned of the possibility of tariffs. The market is suggesting that they are disappointed about the carve-outs from Mexico and Canada and that perhaps it's not going to lift prices as much as they originally thought. What do you think is going to be the impact on pricing here in the U.S.? Well, the, the impact on, really the impact that will be most felt is the impact on the jobs that it will create and the positive impact those jobs will have on the economy. With a stronger economy, that's always good for the steel industry and for the aluminum industry. So I feel very good about the impact in terms of uh, performance uh, at Nucor and in the industry. And the stock price will always naturally follow the performance of the company. So I don't worry about the short term up and downs of the stock price. But the ability to hire more people, isn't it based on the assumption that prices are going to be higher and therefore there's going to be more need, more, it's going to be more economically incentive, uh, there's going to be a greater economic incentive for you to produce more? Well, there's more than just profits when you look at the number of people that are working at a plant, it's utilization, right? And with the demand being strong as it has been, it has been improving. But the problem has been that the improved demand has been stolen by the illegally traded imports taking up that new demand. So by getting a fair trade deal, we'll be able to bring that increased demand back into our facilities, increasing our utilization, increasing the number of hours we run our factories, and then that means more people working in those factories, longer hours. Before we let you go, Mr. Ferriola, very quickly, and we just heard from the CEO of the Century there in Kentucky, and they're already talking about ramping up production there, bringing a, a number of workers back. Do you have concrete plans yet to ramp up your own production? Well, obviously, our utilization is a function of demand. We see improved demand, and as I said, that demand has been going to uh, uh, imports that have stolen that increased demand. Once we see that reversed, demand will improve, and we definitely will bring our people back and increase our utilization and our employment. John Ferriola, the CEO of Nucor, the largest steel producer in the country. Thank you for your time, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.